What's going on guys? As promised, today's video is gonna be the first drive with our 6 b manual Ferrari 575. I cannot believe we're saying that. Kaizen Collision has been hard at work on this car. It's been quite the transformation, quite the revival of this car. And now we're gonna go drive it and just make sure everything's good to go before they button everything up perfectly. So we texted them and they said to come on by. So here we are rolling up and this is just a pretty monumental moment with this car. It hasn't been on the road driving since it was crashed. Oh my goodness, and there it is, it's out. <laughs> oh man. And boy, does Holy. it look good. So it was about a year ago that uh, the previous owner, unfortunately, I think he said um, there's something in the road. He like swerved to avoid it or somehow he slid off the road into like an embankment. He said he almost fell off a cliff in the car. Like it stopped just before going off the cliff. Jeez. Crazy, crazy story with this Thank car. Thank goodness that this car is still around because <laughs> it is one of very few and oh, one of 177 or oh. very rare car. And it's going to be such a treat to drive it today. A V12 with a gated six speed manual. I don't think you can get much better than that. First time ever. All right, let's go check it out. There she is, Kirsten. Look Just a at car it. That you don't see. Rare enough that it's, you know, one of a couple hundred, but you don't even see really 550s or 575s. Oh, yeah. I, can, I don't even know the last time I've seen a 550 or 575, and let alone with the six speed manual. Can't wait to take this to a car show and uh, really you know, shock some people when they see that uh, transmission. So obviously it's a little dusty. They're doing a final polish here uh, tomorrow and the next day, but we said, hey, let us let us take it for a drive before you make it look perfect. Yeah, exactly. And then obviously leaving off the emblems so they, they could just easily polish right over it instead of having to work around the emblems. Yo, we're debadged. Guys, what do you think about the debadged look? <laughs> Nobody will know we're a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Coming around, they got these uh, weather strippings back in. These were out last video, so they've done just tidying up some uh, loose ends here and there. And then the, the last things are really the polish. And then um, th it looks like there's a bumper gap here, but it's just because they didn't uh, fully scoot this up because this has to get all polished. And then they got to fix one little um, paint imperfection all the way up here that you can't even see. So they they don't want to button it up because it just have to come back to, uh, off anyway. So good enough for a first drive though. It's, it's secured on, it's not gonna fall off. I just got the keys from inside. They're in my pocket here somewhere. Oh my goodness, there are the keys. Right. Okay, Christian, hop in there. Let's get this uh, start up. I think this is a warm start because they drove it out here. But uh, you know, it's got the- I haven't been in this car because when we went to pick it up, yeah, I you, wasn't even doing the steering. So you've never even sat in it? You've never even sat in it? I don't think so. Okay, you gotta hit the switch for the immobilizer. See, oh, red yeah. dot, just like our uh, old uh, 355s and stuff. There we go, bingo. Great. Okay, in neutral, here we go. First start in three, two, one. Can't wait to give this car a good cleaning. Obviously, I love cleaning engine bays and interiors. This thing will be looking great. All right, we're moving. I think we could use an alignment right off the bat. <laughs> okay, it needs an alignment. So we'll drive real slow. First shift. Yes. Dang. This Whoa. has a totally different feel from any Ferrari we've ever driven. Really? Yeah. Like it should, but it's totally unique. Sounds so good. Okay, I think it's my turn. All right. I had to let you insist. drive. The, had to let you drive the first little bit. Give you the first shot at because it it's been a little while since you've driven a fun, proper car, right? Isn't That's that? Right. Uh, isn't that good to be back? It is boy, oh boy, you haven't driven a manual this in a is, long time. This is one to come back to, that's for sure. Yep. Here, give me a little rev before you leave. Now that it's warmed up a little bit. Holy, how many RPMs was that? Four. 4,000. Still got double that to go. That is nice. The clutch is easy. Easy. Like, yeah, yeah it's like. Very simple. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That's nothing. Nothing. 
Wow. It okay. picks this car up. Yeah, and you wants can, to go. Definitely in a grand touring kind of way. Like it's got a little bit of body roll when you get on it. It lifts the car versus yeah. like I feel like their 430 or something is a lot more planted, handles a lot tighter. But uh, this is comfortable. Yeah, very smooth ride. Different than I was expecting. I was thinking more of a harsh Ferrari. This is clearly not what they were going for with this car. This is for long, like, stretches of highway, because this thing will do like 200 miles an hour, which is just oh crazy. God, it probably feels quite smooth doing it. Great oil pressure, good coolant temperatures, cooling fans coming on right as they should. I don't know how low this car is, but I definitely don't want to scrape that brand new front bumper. <laughs> yeah. the first couple videos with this car when we got it up on the lift we saw shiny exhaust and we're like hmm what's that and I look it up it's got a 2B exhaust which is cool and it's got the resonators replaced with just non-resonated um, pipe so it's louder than stock obviously but it's not as loud as it could be but I think this is like the right amount of volume just right for a grand tour yeah for once I'll agree with everybody in the chat saying not to fully straight pipe it we'll go with that we'll just rock with this and we got to keep that originality right we can't make this thing all like I mean, insanely loud. Unless the video hits like, what, 20,000 likes? <laughs> But then when you like give it some throttle, the car like picks up and squats and moves like a, yeah. Very interesting suspension it's uh, like a much larger geometry. Car. I guess that feeling of those bumps is all about kind of like the, the rebound and the firmness that can be attuned to a suspension. But then the spring rate is not crazy high where you'll get like some, some comfortable kind of movement. I think it's well designed. Overall. Yeah, it's comfy. Very comfy. Easy yeah. to drive. You know, you can totally drive this every day yeah. if you want. Nobody will, but yeah, definitely could. These cars are only going up in value too. So what do you guys think? Hang on to it and let appreciation do its thing, or sell it and maybe get some other uh, other cars. I don't know. It was such a fun one. You know, it's still not done yet. So many videos still to come in the series. We can do all sorts of little things. We may give the car to Alex to do a timing belt job because it's due on that, being that it's. <laughs> three years since it was done last. Oh, let's do another $5,000 timing belt job, but such an easy clutch and transmission. guys so there you have it first drive with 575 complete just leaving kaizen collision now and boy was that fun that was a great experience i am super happy about everything that this project has involved i think it's gone really really well and now it's just time to enjoy it yeah it's obviously been a lot of work on kaizen's part the, the amount of man hours oh my gosh that they put in crazy amount of time but then again it was a lot of time for us too finding the car for starters but then finding all the parts which became a little bit of a challenge because where do you find a AC condenser and uh, front end of a 575 donor car and just like there was a lot that we had to do but we were able to find those parts give them over to Kaizen and let the experts go to work so it all worked out perfectly. Yeah it's been great making all these connections in the industry and it really takes that to bring this car all together so subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of the 575 as well as many other 
Ferraris. I can even say that there are multiple other Ferraris on the channel. Crazy to say, as well as a bunch of other cool cars. Absolutely. Follow us on Instagram, JR Garage, and then Kai's Inclusion too. We'll be posting some behind the scenes, final, you know, once it's polished, we'll be posting those pictures before the video comes out. So, well guys, uh, lots of good content on the way. Oh, mercy stuff. We got two gated V12s in the garage. That's a dream come true. <laughs> Uh, as kids, like that's wow. just something that we always dreamed of. So thank that's you guys for helping great. us make that possible. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching. And of course, leaving those big juicy likes on these videos. So be sure to smash that like button. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Right, it feels right, yeah. you know say that it feels right.